it's impossible not to feel the energy in this room. Yeah, the Shell Energy Stadium was packed in Houston, Texas, with a record 30,000 people packed in there to see Kelly and Beyonce stump for Kamala Harris. And as they waited, they had a good time doing it. Over in Traverse City, Michigan, people were leaving the Trump rally before he even got there because his Joe Rogan interview ran long. Great move, Trump. Look at this place. I mean, it's what is it? What time is it tonight? What the hell? What is it? Huh? Right? For all the men and women in this room and watching around the country. And yeah, once there was some overlap in the live streams, 2.5 million people were tuned into Kamala's event, while 14,000 were tuned into Trump's. But Kamala did try to help out the size of his crowd. Just send them to that small rally down the street. It'll be fine. I mean, it's freezing out. Is anybody cold? I'm not cold. I'm not cold. Granted, she was in Texas and he was in Michigan. But hey, he arrived three hours late, so he probably almost could have got there. Some people don't have a great sense of direction, but that's okay. We'll show them the way. We'll show them the way. Are y'all ready to add your voice to the new American song? That's the Undertaker's theme song playing. You recently endorsed Trump. Well, that's a real mood pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> to play that as your theme song, and it played for a long time. I'm not good at guessing crowd sizes, but I don't know, is that like a thousand people? Maybe something like that? I don't know. And yeah, he was in no way jealous that Beyonce was not with him. We need you. Joe Biden is asleep. Kamala is at a dance party with Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. I love how he says that. Oh uh, yeah, it's just funny. What do you think? So let's do this. Beyonce.